President Joe Biden signed an executive order today calling on the government to examine the risks and the benefits of cryptocurrencies. His directive asked federal agencies to take a unified approach to a regulation and oversight of digital assets. We spoke with an internet consultant about what this means for digital currency. Decentralized. No one financial institution controls any of it. It transcends borders. It transcends currencies. Internet consultant Chris Hamer says cryptocurrency is out of the reach of the government, which is one of the reasons why he thinks President Biden is calling for more regulation and oversight. Hammer explains that cryptocurrency is the digital record of numbers passing between people on an agreed upon amount where they assign the value between each other. Every government wants to have its own digital currency that they can use a decentralized network to maintain transactions and and hopefully use it to supplant their fiat currency. Some of them will design a crypto system that will not have um, any anonymity. The Biden administration is calling on the Treasury to develop policy recommendations on crypto with a focus on the areas of consumer and investor protection, financial stability and financial inclusion, illicit activity and U.S. competitiveness on a global stage. Protecting consumers is also an important part of the directive after countless stories of investors falling for crypto scams and losing large amounts of money. Hammer says one of the biggest misconceptions about cryptocurrency is that the asset is not truly a currency. It is a mutually agreed upon assignment of value for a digital token. It, it's, not, it's not anything tied to a real asset. It's not backed by gold. It's not backed by government credit or anything like that. Hamer points out that cryptocurrency is volatile. It's an investment, and in many situations, it can be addictive and lead to compulsion that is economically destroying many people's lives. Now, some financial experts are calling today's executive order from the president a watershed moment for digital assets, similar to the government's realization of how powerful the Internet would be back in 1996. The prices of Bitcoin today surged above $42,000 in reaction to today's news.